All right, first step of the project, I got my trusty, old, rusty Walmart picnic table out here. And here's our piece of wood, and here's our base paint. Got our paint opening tool there. For, the, who, for those of you who do not know, this is the paint opening tool. It has a little hook there on the end. That little hook sort of gets on this outer ring. And you just slowly work up all the way around the edges. No rush. Man, anybody can do this. You don't have to be an expert painter to get out in your yard and make some Bama decorations. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, there we go. So we got our white outdoor enamel. Uh, this is a flat finish paint and primer. And we will get started. Let's go over here to the brushes. I'm about to be here all day. So I think I, oh gosh, I'm always like used up. That one. So I got two good ones here. So I'll start with actually the bigger one. Give me a little on there and whoop. Not rocket science, man. Not get rocket science at all. Just gonna paint get some more here come back over here some brush strokes and I want to keep doing this and uh, I'll see you in a minute hey guys uh, continue on the project uh, coming back up here now um, and the paint is drying up pretty good here that's drying up good there. I got another one drying right here. And all this is is an exterior flat paint primer from Home Depot. I bought a Bear brand paint. Actually, one was bare and the other one was a glidden. And this is drying up. Like I said, this wood is really just like compressed wood from uh, some mill in Homewood. And if you're driving around in the industrial park at Homewood, I'm pretty sure it's right across the street from the Homewood Park. And not every day, but typically they'll have a wood there you can get. And I just now noticed this. Now look at that crepe myrtle, man. Man, that has bloomed out awesome this summer. That one has. Got one there, one back over there that really hasn't bloomed out that well. Um, Ooh, I like those, man. A lot of people trim them up, make them shorter every year. These, I just sort of let go. And now, in retrospect, I'm glad I did. I mean, the blooms are... I mean, it's a whole tree. Maybe that's the way they were meant to be, man. Maybe you're not supposed to trim them every year. You ever thought about that? Maybe not. Anyway, now, what I'm going to do is i got to wait to let these dry before I get into my crimson color. Which gives me time to plan out the design. So, I mean, I could just put RTR on there, which everybody in Alabama would get. Or I could put roll here and then tied on the other one. Um, and I think, I think that's the reason I kept this third one here, is that probably that one, I'm going to do the RTR. And this one, I'm going to go roll, tied. So, I want to get in get some graph paper out. Uh, got the trusty measuring spool and uh, go from there in the meantime i think i want to clean some gutters yeah i want to clean gutters in 100 degree heat in alabama it's good training man builds character now don't get me wrong just like you're watching this youtube video man i can watch the heck out of some youtube videos man so much free education out there uh, but do get outside, man. No, don't listen to a guy on YouTube. I mean, you know your own limits, but you know, at least like get out to the front door and like get a breath of fresh air. You know, can't live your entire life indoors. Obviously, many people want to comment. Well, no, what if you have an ailment? I, I get that. I ain't talking about people that have ailments and sickness and you know who knows what else. This is enjoyable to get out every once in a while. 
Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, so, ooh, that is bright. So that's the first board that we've got painted up. Looks pretty good. Uh, maybe some bleed through, but I'll just go back and patch that up as I need to. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, guys, back at it. Um, so I let the wood dry. I went and cleaned out my gutters a little bit while I was doing that. But that was pretty dry there. I got some leaves something on it. I'll get that brushed off uh, this one dried nicely here looks good and this one here that last piece of wood so that's dried nicely ready for uh, this is my canvas to get my Bama signs hooked up and if you're wondering what this pole is uh, we're close to the Bankhead National Forest otherwise known as the Sipsy Wilderness in uh, North Alabama. Uh, so I've collected little hiking sticks over the years, so I don't know. Maybe put some crimps and bars on this. We'll see how we're doing on paint. But I was waiting around, didn't have nothing else to do, so I painted the old hiking stick here. Which probably can double as a fishing pole. As far as looking there. Never thought of that before, but yeah, this is a good multi-use multi tool out there. I don't know if I'd poke a bear with it, but anyway, back to the subject. All right, so what we're going to do first is this is going to be the roll piece. So I want to get that over here into the art table, otherwise known as a rotten picnic table from unknown department store. Anyway. All right, so let's do that. I'm trying to get this bit just right. Because, uh, if I start playing on this, I'm going to mess it up. The back of it I'm not really worried about. Just the front. Alright, so I got that there. I think I'll get this. This side. And, uh... Alright, we're good. Alright, so anyway. Alright, so I got that set up now. Ready to work on. Unless you're a Picasso and you're a big freehand type of person. Uh, you know, make out some little diagrams beforehand. I'll try to get an idea of what you want to do. It'll make it a lot less painful. <clears throat> Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to track down the uh, blue painter's tape. And I'm going to get my design marked off here. Also a good idea is to have a good idea of the distance. Keep it level. Got some pencils here. So, as you can tell, it's just a good little project. Um, so, here we go. We're going to get all this together. We're going to get your Bama signs ready. We're going to get ready for this football season. Be back shortly. Progress being made. So, this is it. This is the first part of the outline that I've done. Uh, we'll see how it turns out here in a second. Uh, here's the paint again. Of course, dark crimson. And I got a... Uh, uh, Bear Brand paint at Home Depot. Alright, here we go. Now we're making some progress. Alright, so what I did this time, instead of trying to look at my picture and then tape it, I thought, why don't I just get my pencil and freehand it? Well, yeah, I freehand it with a straight edge. There we go, straight edge. So I freehand it with a straight edge, and okay, that looks a little bit better. I mean, I sized it down. It still has that rock and roll look, don't it, man? I mean, I don't know. Uh, I may just tape one of these and just leave it like that. Maybe, like, get red tape. Oh, man. Why did I think about that? Yeah, here's an easier project, guys. I'm still going through all this painting business that's taken me about two or three hours today. Why don't y'all just get tape and tape it on the side? I don't know if they sell crimson tape. I'm sure you can find it somewhere on the internet. But anyway, hey, I'm out here in the 
heat, uh, staying hydrated, get some sunshine, some vitamin D. Got my drying section going over there. Uh, I don't know, I may go down to a blueberry bush, get a snack here in a second. All right, anyway, guys, uh, so here we are, northern Alabama on a hot July afternoon, prepping for roll tide season. Okay, corrections on the fly here. I made my R too big. I mean, it was not going to hold roll on this. So I got a little bit too gratuitous with the R. So now we have to go to RTR. So I have to duplicate this over here. No big problem. We're just having fun out here. Okay, guys, uh, we're making some progress here. All right, so here is the RTR. Uh, I might have to put a couple of coats of the crimson on there, um, but that's where we're at. I hate to say it, man, but the, the blue makes it like a little bit like a rock star, you know, rat to rat or something like that. I don't know, man. I didn't mean to make it rhyme, but it doesn't look like a, like a little rock star logo, sort of. Anyway, right, I'll catch you up. I'm going to go set this out in the sun, let it dry, do a couple more touch-ups, and then we will come back for the reveal of the first Bama yard signage of the year. All right, guys, see y'all in a bit. All right, we're back, guys. Um, just to give you an update, I'm fixing to take the tape off of that. Um, back over here, the uh, roll part of roll tide is dried up now, and I just put the tide out to bake. So benefits of uh, doing this in Alabama is it's about 100 degrees right now. And the paint does not take long to dry. That's it. Alright, here we go. You just want to take it out. There goes one piece. We'll see how it looks. There were some spots that I missed. Maybe a little bit of bleed there, but we're not pros here. Let's see how this comes out. Pretty sharp lines. Is the main thing. That's what I'm worried about. Crazy, man. <laughs> just spent like three hours today doing this. <clears throat> I guess you would want it to come out halfway decent. Alright, I'm going to continue doing this and in a minute I'll show you the final product. Okay. Hey, nothing's ever perfect in life, but. For the effort I put into it, I'm sort of satisfied with this. I'm interested to see how the other two come out. Had a little bit of bleed through there. T came out okay. Could have been a little bit thicker at the top, but I did that with the next one. All right, so we'll uh, stick with this for now. All right, guys. So this is the final result. So we got the roll tied RTR. So I'm going to say it looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, the actual size is different, but again, the size of the um, pieces was different too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hey, I was out in the heat all day, you know, sweating out here. So if you could, you know, give me a like. Uh, also give me a subscription if you can. That would help me out a lot. Uh, also, look at my other videos. I got a lot of you know, just different stuff, you know, travel around, football related videos, and also get more sports oriented with football season coming up. I'll start doing a preview of the uh, <coughs> local <coughs> high school football in uh, Jasper, Alabama. Um, first up on Jasper's schedule is.